Hello YouTube, today is a very special day. I recently reached 200 subscribers, and I thought that I would make this video where you could actually see my face um, in the top left hand corner of the video and actually see what I look like, and I should answer and give you guys a few details into my life. This will count as my second vlog, if you really want to put it that way. Um, I started my channel with the intent of providing um, coherent and concise tips and tricks videos based on getting people better at Halo. Um, I do like to create montages and other things besides tips and tricks videos occasionally when I compile enough clips. As you may have noticed, all the gameplay on my channel is from me and played by me. And um, I may branch out in the future to a small extent, but I'd like to keep that theme and keep that genuineness on my channel. When you come to my channel, you always know you're going to see Genesis Rider play. Get Genesis Rider gameplay. I'm sorry about that. I do get tripped up over my words, and you may have noticed this in some of my videos, like just occurred. I will trip up over my words occasionally because my mind is moving faster than my tongue, I guess. But anyway, let's go through this um, list of things I have written down here, and hopefully it'll be interesting to you guys. I'm currently editing an iMovie 11 on my Mac laptop, which I received as a graduation present um, a little a few years ago. And it's currently working out pretty well, but iMovie is very simplistic, and so it's very, actually, very challenging for me to edit together a video like the one you're seeing now with my face in the top left hand corner. Very difficult. Um, another random fact, um, I will never monetize my videos directly when they come out. So guys, um, you first um, come to my channel and you see those the videos I've posted within the past month, I will never monetize those. What, I'm, what, what that means is basically I won't ever be getting money or intentionally putting ads on my videos. I suspicion that you watched a few ads on my videos regardless of whether I've monetized them or not, and that's not my doing. But um, I want to keep the current videos I have coming out as ad-free as possible, so I do not monetize those straight out of the gate. Moving on to the next uh, item, I'm currently working at Target, um, the Target um, supermarket, if any of you are curious about that. Um, yes, I know I'm using my terrible computer square webcam. And yes, I know that the bedspread behind me is red, and this random painting on this random picture on the wall looks pretty dumb. I'm very well aware of that. Um, I'm in the guest room right now, and so I tried to put some Halo Flare um, posters on the wall. The lithographic ODST is one of my favorites, um, and then I'm, of course I'm wearing the Halo Four shirt just for you guys. Okay, keep it classy. Um, language will be used in my videos, cursing or cussing, as I would refer to it, um, but not by me. I was trained to not curse as a kid, so I see no problem in continuing to uphold that teaching. Having said that, I do not discriminate against others who do curse. While I believe cursing is unnecessary, I choose to ju uh, judge others in more direct ways than the voice waves that issue from their mouths, something that some people, judgmental people, have a pretty bad problem with. I've been 20 years without cursing so far, being a four-year Xbox Live Gold member, I don't think I'm about to start now, guys. Um, you can pretty much come to my channel guaranteed that cursing will be non-existent from me. All right, now I'd like to have a shout out to Modest Major 92, who very kindly helped me get to 200 subscribers by shouting out me on his channel. If you want to go check out that video, um, click the annotation here. Um, he's very kind in the words he said, and I'd like to shout out back to him. For the subscribers who are only on my channel, Modest Major is a guy who posts videos about uh, basically him dominating the enemy team with interesting commentary and news over current Halo events and um, his current thoughts. And, uh, they're very interesting. Um, the commentary, and if you really like to see you know, gameplay where he goes 20 and gets one, de 20 kills and gets one death, go for it. The reason why I don't consistently post videos like that, and, um, this video that you're watching right now is an exception, um, is because I find the gameplay not as interesting. Um, it just doesn't hold my attention for as long because the enemy players you're facing are simply not skilled enough for it to be an actual competition. Um, I'm learning that some people have a very low bar or low threshold when it comes to their interest. They could watch something and watch a player go 30 kills and zero deaths and go, oh my gosh, you're a god at Halo, and that's not 
quite true. But having said that, Modest Major 92 has very many of those films, and if you're interested in that type of thing, his commentary is really good and um, very interesting to watch his videos. So thank you, Modest Major, for helping me reach 200 subscribers, and I really do appreciate that. Moving on back to the list, um, in the future, I will not be switching over to Call of Duty Ghosts, as uh, many Halo pros have been doing. If you've been keeping up with the um, pro circuit of things at all, Halo has really, really died out, as you can see by the population numbers currently revolved in Halo. And I'd like to state here that I have no intention of leaving Halo for any reason whatsoever. I do not own a Call of Duty game, and I never will. That's just my own personal opinion, and I frankly do not even want to broach or get into that topic, and I will immediately delete all comments related to a war between the two games. If you'd like to hear me go into that topic in the future, or have your post comment not deleted on another video where the topic is actually discussed, feel free to say in the comments that you'd like me to discuss that in another video, and I'll be more than willing to. In fact, in any part of this video, if you feel that you'd like me to go into more detail on a specific topic, just let me know video is all about you guys and trying to help you understand my perspective. Alright, moving on to my friends list. Um, I have a certain criteria for people who are on my friends list. It's way more stringent than most people who are on Xbox Live. Um, it's for a variety of reasons, but I'll just go through them real fast. If you send me a random friend request, most likely if I look on your profile, you've played Halo 4 in your most recent games and you seem like a decent player, I'll accept you. But I'll only keep you if you meet the four criteria. This may seem kind of strange, but this is in general what I base people on, whether I keep them on my friends list or not. I'm helping you out in a very specific way. I know there's this one guy, who I will not mention his name, who was on several drugs, and he would come to me and literally talk to me, and I would counsel him. I can't really put it any other way. I would listen to his hardships, and I would try to tip out of the very negative parts of his life, which was very difficult on me to do. But if you're someone like that who I'm helping, um, absolutely I keep her on my friends list until I've finished helping you as much as I can, and I feel that there's no other, nothing else I can do for you. Um, the second thing is um, play consist Halo consistently online. If you play Halo consistently online, I'll keep you on my friends list. Um, but the hand in hand factor is the third thing: you need to be decent at the game. I know one the one of the few people who is actually negative had kills than deaths in Halo, who I kept in my friends list, was a guy called Lego Lad. And Lego Lad, uh, salute to you if you're watching this video, Lego Lad would sacrifice himself, selflessly going after the enemy objective like the flag. Even though he would die, he would pull halfway across the map and he'd basically get most of our points halfway back to our base. You can go negative legitimately, and I'll still keep you in my friends list if you do that, but otherwise... You really do need to be more getting more kills than deaths in Halo matchmaking. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot I can do to improve your skill. I'm improving a skill from an average level. I'm not improving from a dirt level. The fourth thing is I know you in real life, which is an obvious one. If I know you in real life, I'm far more likely to keep you on my friends list for a longer extended period of time. Okay, one of the fastest ways to get removed from my friends list. Play Halo with me for a day or two, and then promptly go play Call of Duty for a week you will be removed very, very quickly. Or really any other game for that. Maybe you go play Final Fantasy XIII for three weeks straight and never get on Halo. I'm sorry. You know, that's that's not really acceptable. I want to consistently play Halo with you. I want to consistently play Halo online with you. Teammates who I'm consistently playing with um, and who have similar games to me and similar interests, absolutely, I'm going to keep you on my friends list. Yeah, I have no reason to take you off. The people who I don't know and who I don't play with online, there's no reason for you to keep those people on my friends list. Just to make that absolutely 100% crystal clear for everyone. Alright, moving on to the next item. I cannot stream on Twitch, which is a live streaming website where you can watch me game live. I cannot stream consistently on Twitch because my connection will randomly go out. Right now my laptop is using a wireless internet connection. What that means is that because I'm upstairs and my router's downstairs, it's very difficult on my wireless computer to keep a consistent, constant connection. With streaming, it's very difficult on the internet connection. Thankfully, my Xbox has a wired cord, which is over 100 feet long. 
Um, it's kind of ridiculous what I've gone, what we went through to try to wire this cord up here. Um, I may make a video on that later because it really is ridiculous. But my Xbox is a wired, powerful connection. Now, moving on to the next item. Um, I will be buying an Xbox One along with Destiny. I already have a code for the Destiny beta. Um, and I will be um, buying Halo 5 when it comes out, of course. To be frankly honest, if I may briefly address the console war, if you will, between the Xbox One and the PS4, my simple, coherent thoughts on the matter is you should be buying the console for the exclusive titles that come out on it. If you haven't thought once in your head that Halo 5 will only be on the Xbox One, if you haven't once thought that in your mind, you need to seriously re reconfigure and reevaluate why you're buying a console. You don't buy the PS4 just because it has slightly more powerful graphical power, which I won't even go into because it's completely retarded to base your opinion on the console simply off of hardware power alone. You should be buying it for the games, not the console. Okay, that's been proven consistently in the past. I don't know why you'd buy the console for any other reason. So, moving on, uh, last but not least, um, thank you guys for everything. Um, I do appreciate um, you in every fast possible, and um, I'd like to briefly mention here that while I may appear brusque, I would say just serious at times, I'm very, very serious and, and uh, harsh to some people, I am fully invested in Halo and getting people better at the game and producing good content that is interesting to watch and informative for the viewer. And the more than one play, if you can hold your own in online matchmaking, that's really all I want and all I ask. Few other goals matter higher in my mind. And um, that's something that you agree with and are interested in when in. Um, definitely subscribe or keep watching the videos, absolutely for sure. I have several videos planned, and to be frankly honest, Please go watch this video. This is the most recent other video that I've posted um, in the past. And um, in this video at the end, I describe how you can vote on the next video I'm going to make. And that would really, that would be, mean a lot to me if you would go vote on the comments to that video. And by the way, the video is very worth watching. I get a kill tacular and an overkill in the same game um, in a four minute time span 17 kills and no deaths. Very cool gameplay. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next capture, or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys.